Hi everybody! Glad to be here with you again today. I'm going to read a book called Roadwork. Have you seen this one before? It's by Sally Sutton and illustrated by Brian Lovelock. And it shows us all the different steps it takes to make a road. I never knew that there were so many steps until I read this. Okay, you ready? Plan the road, plan the road, mark it on the map. Hammer in the marking pegs, ping, bang, tap. Hmm. There's a map that they're using to plan. There's all the pegs that they're placing so that they know exactly where their road is going to go. Move the earth, move the earth. Dig and cut and push. Clear a pathway for the road. Screech, boom, whoosh. We've made the pathway. <clears throat> That's where the road's going to go. Do you recognize those diggers? I bet a lot of you can name those better than me. It's pretty cool. Load the dirt, load the dirt, scoop, and swing, and drop, slam it down into the truck. Bump, whop, whop. They're scooping and emptying it into the truck. <clears throat> Move that dirt so that they have space for their road. Tip the stones, tip the stones. Lift and slide and dump. Lay the groundwork for the road. Crash, roar, thump. Putting some stones in there to help it make it stronger. Pack the ground, pack the ground. <clears throat> Roll one bay, then back. Make the roadbed good and hard. Clang, crunch, crack. Smelling up, making it hard. Seal the road, seal the road. Make it hot and squishy. Spread the sticky tar and stones. Splashy, splashy, squishy. See these tools? Those remind me of baseball games. <clears throat> you ever been to a baseball game and sometimes you can see the workers there spreading out the dirt that's on the baseball diamond to make it flat? I wonder if those are the same tools. Roll the tar, roll the tar, make it firm and flat. Squash it down and press it out. Squelch, splat, splat. It's a steamroller. That's like when you use rollers on Play-Doh to make it flat. You're making the tar nice and flat for the road. Stop the work, stop the work, time to break for lunch. Sandwiches and drinks and fruit. Gulp, slurp, crunch. So it's important to take breaks, huh? And eat food to help your energy. Mark the road, mark the road, give the paint a squirt. Paint the lines in nice and straight. Whiz, splop, splurt. Hmm. Those marks are important. They help the cars know which way to go and where to stay so that they keep safe. Raise the signs, raise the signs. Drag and hoist and ram. Hoist them down into their holes. Flap, flap, wham. Do you recognize signs like this when you're on drives? They help us know where to go and what rules to follow to keep, keep safe. And here's a bicycle sign. That shows a bicycle, that this is a bicycle lane. A bicycle so they know that they can be there and they'll be safe. Light the road, light the road, no one wants to crash. Test the lights and watch them shine. Flick, flack, flash. Look at all those lights. That helps us so you know where to go when it's dark out. See the moon? Ah, oh, looks like it's nighttime there. Plant the trees, plant the trees. Dig and stamp and lug. Water them to help them grow. Drip, drop, glug. Oh, they look pretty with all those plants. That reminds me of all the work that Jeff has been doing on the playground. <laughs> tidy up, tidy up, lift and load and sweep. Drive away those big machines. Swish, chug, beep. If you're cleaning up just like we do after playtime, it's always important to clean up after we do something. Shout, hooray, the work is done. Ready now, let's zoom. Drive along your brand new road. Toot, hunk, broom. Look at all those vehicles that get a ride there. You now they're saying thank you, construction workers, for your hard work. Do you see a school bus? Right there. And mail truck. Trash truck. Ambulance. Now road, roads are important for all of them to get around. But it's so nice of construction workers to do all that hard work for us, huh? The end. 
was a fun one. I have a challenge for you to find anything in your home that you could use to make a road. There's so many different ways you could do it. Maybe with popsicle sticks, or you could use paper and draw your own road. Or if you have a sandbox, you could dig a road. And also if you're out on a walk or just looking out your window or on a drive, you can look at roads and try and find all the different parts that we learned about in this book. Uh, well, have fun trying that out. Can't wait to see you again. Thanks for reading with me. Bye. This doesn't want to stop.